The Joint Polar Satellite System, or JPSS, monitors rain and thunderstorm clouds as they form and transport Earth's water from the atmosphere to the surface. Before it rains, JPSS can measure how much water is inside a cloud, helping scientists forecast upcoming rainstorms. During a rainstorm, JPSS can measure how much rain is falling in millimeters per hour. Have you ever wanted to measure how much water is left after a rainfall? You can with a rain gauge, made from materials found around your house and yard. These are the materials you will need. Scissors, a container such as a plastic bottle, a ruler, tape, a pen or marker, small stones or pebbles to hold the container down, and a rainy day. Step 1. Use scissors to trim the top of the bottle. If the bottle top is too difficult to remove with scissors, feel free to ask your parents for help. Step 2. Place small stones or pebbles into the bottom of the water bottle. Step 3. Turn the top part of your bottle upside down and tape it to the top of your bottle. This will help funnel the rain into your container. Step 4. Draw a zero line using a marker and ruler and mark each inch or quarter inch above that line along your container. This will create a way to take measurements of the rainfall. Step 5. Fill your rain gauge with water up to the zero line for an accurate rain measurement. Now that you have your rain gauge, place it outside in an open area so it can collect rain. Make sure that it's secure so that it won't fall over and that it's not leaning against your house. Then, record rainfall measurements each hour. That's all there is to it. Remember to pay attention to the weather forecast to learn more about rainfall where you live. If you enjoyed making this, you can check out more educational, hands-on activities on our website. And make sure to follow the Joint Polar Satellite System on social media so you can get updates on news, cool images, and other fun educational opportunities like this one.